Listen man, soybean oil is the fast food oil, the junk food oil. You say, Johnny, it's associated with junk and fast food? There's no way it's good for you, right? My response? Right on. It is ranked number one as the most consumed oil in America and in the world by a mean margin. We be banging some soybean oil. Soybean oil is high in a particular fat named omega-6, which has a terrible reputation for being pro-inflammatory. Picture this, I'm sitting at my desk doing the whole research thing, expecting to find some articles bashing soybean oil because of its omega-6 content, and I come across this title. Soybean oil lowers cholesterol levels, heart disease risk, and has no effect on inflammation. You only make a study like this if you are on the mission to clear the name of soybean oil, or if your livelihood depends on the consumption of soybean oil and the two aren't mutually exclusive. It can be both. And in this case, I think it is. As the lead researcher of this study is the executive director of the Soy Nutrition Institute. Now, because of that, we might think that this study is tainted with all kinds of bias, but it turns out that the stuff they open the door to in the study holds up pretty well. And they mentioned a review stating intake of omega-6 has no effect on markers of chronic inflammation. I cross-referenced a few more studies to see if this was the real deal. And there is a general consensus that increased intake of omega-6 does not increase inflammation. All right, I was shook. Can this be true? Can omega-6 really not be as bad as we thought? No, it's not. And if you still don't really understand the whole omega-6, omega-3 thing, we'll break that down in a separate video. Check the description. But we are left with an issue here. If omega-6 isn't the issue, then what is the problem with soybean oil? I think you know it, say it with me. It isn't the food that's bad, it's what we do to it. Vegetable oils, this includes soybean oils, canola oils, the list goes on. Their literal existence is brought to us by some Thick processing. See, it sounds cute. But humans can't consume crude vegetable oil that we get from just crushing a seed, so we process it. In the early stages of processing, we're dealing with odiferous volatiles, which is lab coat speak for that is stank. We got some color we don't like, some wax going on, and some metal compounds. We gotta remove all that stuff, so what do we do next? We degum it, neutralize it. <laughs> Sound like we fighting aliens in this. We gotta bleach it, we gotta winterize it, deodorize it. You see, these oils that we find in our junk and fast food might be advertised as harmless, but really, we beat the brakes off of. That's not even oil anymore. I don't know what that is.